Hi folks, this is the a sort of introduction little podcast thing I plan on doing until I get bored. I usually get bored quite quick. But anyway, the idea is to do a little vid from time to time, maybe talk about the news or just get stuff off my mind. And the whole point of my site newswag.com and everything else is just really just for me to talk really, my views. Um it's I'm just walking the dogs at the moment I suspect most of these I'll be doing as I'm walking the dogs now I'm full of cold at the moment so I haven't been doing anything much lately I was going to do this a few days ago but got a nasty little cold and I don't know from because I haven't really met anyone who's got a cold so at the moment it's about 7 o'clock I'm just walking the dogs so if I stop and start, it's if people walk past me. Um, today is Saturday, so there might be a few people around. Normally during the week it's pretty vacant. And I think as winter kicks in, it'll be quiet doing these at night. And at the moment, I don't know if how well this records. It's just a cheap little mic. So you might hear the birds singing in the background. And obviously as we go along in the year, gets to winter, it'll probably be it'll be I'm doing I'll be doing this in the dark probably. Walking the dogs and I'm not sure the birds will be singing as much. But anyway, so that's it. Just oh, just to give you a bit of a background. Eh, it, will it be biased? Maybe what I put forward. Um am I left or right wing? Well, I don't vote conservative but I'll lay, but no interest in any of them, to be honest. Neither. I'm just thought oh, yeah, someone then. Yeah, I'd probably say that I'm slightly left wing, but not very much. I don't particularly like anyone from the left. I think they're all nasty people. I don't find them nice and kind like they claim to be. But I'm also not anti anyone conservative. I think people who in Labour on the left, they go, eh, I won't kiss the Tarby. I think they're quite disgusting people because. That's just politics of nastiness. And when you claim to be the nice people, you sort of show yourself up. And I don't really think people on the left are that nice. Every time I've seen what they do, it's just nastiness. They just think they're nice, so they think they can get away with it, and they've got the right to do nasty things. But in general, I don't think they are particularly nice people. I think they're full of hate and vengeance and... They feel the world, what they should control, what people think. Anyway, uh, apart from that, I'd say, so the dog's having a drink of water. I'd say, intangible rights, vegetarian, trying to be vegan. I'd probably be vegan if there was, um, and I keep trying it, but I keep drinking milk. And the day they come out with a decent alternative, I think it'll change everything, but to be honest, drinking that, the stuff they've currently got, it's just flavoured water, not particularly nice. A lot of vegan stuff's quite nice though, vegan ice cream, I get that, That's in fact I bought it without even realising once. Um, I mean it used to be you couldn't get much vegetarian stuff, and vegan stuff was almost zilch. But I've noticed last few years there's a lot more vegan stuff. It's just a bit expensive. Um, oh, let's think. Don't drink, don't smoke. Um, not. Although I'm anti-drugs, I have no problem. If you want to take drugs and kill yourself, it's your problem. You know the risks. I mean, that's... Um, I often say... I mean, I've always said this. If you want a decent life, don't drink. Most people's problems always seem to be because they've had a drink or something. The amount of times people have been invested and it's down to drink. Divorces, again, down to drink. Everything. All seems to be down to drink. Personally, I'd avoid it, but that's me. What's the other bit I was going to say? Vegetarian, animal bites. I'll probably think of it later. Um, oh, a bit into environment as well. Well, probably a lot. I'm not one of these fake ones that are just doing it for 
the old Instagram. I do object to the idiots out on the road because I don't think they're doing anything good. I think they're just annoying people, making people turn against anything green. I don't think what well, uh, they're particularly green. I don't. I'm not. I think they're doing it for Instagram fame rather than anything. And I don't see how making cars stand for hours, burning up fuel, is green. And worst of all, I mean, to be fair, I'm going to say this. If I was in traffic like that and I was taking the dog to the vets or one of my relatives to the hospital, not interested in having a debate, I'm going to kick your teeth and that'll be fine. I'll, I'm prepared to go to prison, but you're going to move if I'm taking, if my dog's not going to die for you. Sorry. And that's the way I feel. But it's the only time I'd ever turn violent, so I don't believe in violence. In fact, one of the things I'll say now is, again, don't have an argument with somebody because <laughs> things escalate and you'll end up in prison often or something worse, just walk away. You're not a gangster. I know everyone thinks a gangster is as everybody does. Oh, you smoked a bit of weed or sold a bit of weed to your mates, you're a big gangster, you're not. You know, no one's impressed by you. Just go away. Um, so that's just me. Um, I, I'll put, if you post anything on, if I read anything, um, I'll try and reply on these things. I find it writing's a bit easier. But by the way, you'll probably notice there's mistakes in the um, website. Because I'm dyslexic, so don't go. Oh, I'm cleverer than you because you can't spell. Yeah, I know I can't spell. And you can call me stupid and all the names under the sun. I've had it since I was a kid. It doesn't bother me. Funnily enough, it's the people on the left who usually call me stupid. And then you point out that you've actually got technically a disability. And then they start panicking because I suddenly realise they might not seem nice calling somebody names who's got a disability. And they go, oh, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And you go, well, it just shows you're not a nice person. <laughs> Another reason I find the left wing people on the left... I mean, absolutely not nice people. I'm sorry. I mean, most act like I mean, most claim to be anti-fascist and then become fascist by demanding books are censored, films censored, warnings on everything. And that's another thing. I'll probably discuss it. This nonsense about putting trigger warnings on things. Sorry, my understanding is people get triggered. It's usually by some traumatic experience, such as being raped. And something like maybe a perfume they, they recognise that the person who raped them wore as they walked past, even after many, many years. That can trigger them. People being triggered because of a joke, they're not triggered. That's a disgraceful... I mean, it's, it's an abuse of the word triggered, to be honest. People who say triggered and use this should be ashamed of themselves. I mean, all this nonsense about safe space and all this, you just... So I've got no respect for you. If you have to prance around and go, oh, I need a safe space, get out of my life. I'm not interested, couldn't care less. You're pathetic. You know, what sort of... Honestly... Oh, I mean, it's one of my annoyances, especially with women. I mean, used to be women used to be strong. These days they'll go, I'm a pathetic person, I need a safe space, everything offends me, I'll grow up. Since when were women weak and pathetic? I thought the whole point was, you're supposed to be strong and independent, now women suddenly proud that they're pathetic. They, they feed this patheticness to each other. I'm a victim, um, I'm not interested. Anyway, that's a little rant, I wasn't going to do a little introduction. Don't know if it recorded. Last time I did this, a few days ago, actually the battery died. So I forgot to put new batteries in. So, oh, that looks like it's almost 10 minutes. That's my rant for today. Bye.